How to Create an Avatar Selector in Articulate Storyline. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how you can put a character or an image into a shape in Articulate Storyline 360. First, adding a character. In Slide View, go to the Insert tab on the Storyline ribbon and click Characters. You can also import characters directly into the Media Library. When the Character Browser opens, choose a character. Choose an expression, pose, and perspective. Then click Insert. Characters behave like other images in Storyline. After adding them to your course, you can move, resize, crop, format, and animate them. In Slide View, go to the Format tab and crop it with your perspective. Click on the picture shape and select Circle. If you want to add a border for the character, click the picture border below the picture shape and add a border. Similarly, it is the same for the second character. Now, I'm going to show you how you can use that character in a shape, the first thing we're going to do is create a button set. What that's going to do is make only one of these options selectable. So, to do that, we will select both of our characters. We're going to right-click. And there will be an option called Button Set. I'm just going to choose Button Set 1. You can create a new set if you'd like but I'm not using any other buttons throughout this process. We've got a button set here, and now we've got a selected state. On the button set what that is let's just preview that, and show you what that does. So here, we've got two selectable objects, but only one can be selected at a time. Then I added a little prompt saying, select your avatar and click next. Then, the next thing I will do is set up some variables. So go to your Manage Project Variables, and I'm going to say, Sylvie. I will create a true-false variable, the default is false. And then Lucas, who's our other character, set true-false variables. Click OK. Then I'm going to add a trigger that says, Adjust Variable set Sylvie to a value of true when a state of Sylvie is selected, and then we're going to copy that and paste that. And we will change this to Lucas and this one from Sylvie to Lucas. OK, so now we have triggers for each of our objects, which will basically say which one is selected or not. Let's see the second slide, here's the full view of Lucas and Sylvie, what we want to do here is change their default state. So I've got Lucas, and we're going to the change states, the initial state is normal. We're going to change it to hidden, and then we will do the same for Sylvie. Now, we have two hidden characters, and then we will add some triggers that say, Change the state of Sylvie to normal when the timeline starts on this slide if the variable Sylvie is equal to true. Then we're going to copy and paste that, and we'll change Sylvie to Lucas, when the timeline starts on this slide, if Lucas is equal to true. So we've got to change the state of Sylvie to normal on the timeline starts on this slide if Sylvie's true. Change the state of Lucas to normal when the timeline starts on the slide if the Lucas is equal to true. So now, when we preview, I will select Lucas then see Lucas is going to be my avatar, what should happen is based on whoever we selected, that should be the avatar now. If we replay the scene and select simply, Sylvie is going to be my avatar. So, that's a pretty easy way of using variables, states, and triggers to carry a selected object throughout your entire course. <laughs>